All right, we just made it to our Airbnb. We are in Tennessee this week at the Homestead Festival. Lorraine's putting away all our food. Before we talk about all our food, it is not easy leaving the homestead. And the goal before you leave your homestead is to make your farm sitter's life as easy as possible. We're busting out the big dogs. These are water, different waters that we have and these are really just for backups. This is for feed. We're gonna fill this up for them. That should last five days. And it comes with a rain hat, which this, this works pretty good for, for us as well. We gotta move Delilah over here, our mama hen who hatched our first chickens on, on ever. <laughs> first hatched chicken, so we need to move here from here to the new, her new space. There's raccoons, possums, uh, stray cats that come in here and it's just not safe for them and we need to put them in a separate area. But you know what, she's protective, so I might get bit. Okay. Oh, there's new babies. There's one that just hatched. That one don't look right. Yeah, it don't look right. There's okay. two of them that don't look right. Okay, go get the babies. I got him. I got him. What's wrong with his leg? He's got a bum leg. They're gonna be more secure in here, uh, away from the critters. And then we could also move this. Freddy, those are your babies, Freddy. Those are your babies. And these were the eggs that she was sitting on. I don't know if they're any good. I don't know if they're gonna hatch. This one has a bum leg. That's not good. It's just hopping around. See the leg? It looks healthy otherwise, but it's just hopping around. They got furry legs, like our Freddy, our rooster. I think it's probably best to leave them alone, and then we'll check back on them. We have our surprise chick has grown a little bit. We still don't know if it's a rooster or what, and what kind of breed it is. Usually surprise chicks that you get in the mail is a rooster. Her buddies are gone, and I don't know, we feel like she's just gonna get, it's gonna get pecked on if we just put them with these guys. Here we go. We might not even need that. Oh, she's gonna go to mama. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> that chick went right underneath her. <laughs> Delilah was like, what are you doing? He was like, Mama! And these are our turkeys. We made it. It's been past two weeks and we only lost two turkeys. That's pretty good compared to last year. We already lost half of them already at this time. I need to customize these buckets. These handles are not working. I've already had one that went out on me, so I'm finding that I need to switch the handles. I could put kind of like a platform on this, coming off of that. I don't like that. I don't like the way that looks. What I don't want is having this break on the farm sitter. I've been wanting to do this anyways. Half inch drill bit right into that hole, other side. You gotta burn these edges, otherwise it's just gonna keep unraveling. You don't want that. It's about to rain. I'm trying to beat the rain here. I don't put a lid on these buckets, so it doesn't matter 
if this knot's in the way or not. And I'm just tying a regular knot, just kind of. There you go, there you go, there you go. Tie the other side. There we go. Custom sew the lamb bucket with a real rope handle. Fun for the whole family. Screw that back on. We're in business. We're in business. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. I'm loving this chicken water setup. New, new setup this year. I did a video on it. Sometimes the chickens will jump and they'll roost on this, on this hose, even though they have roosting bars. Uh, and then this will come off. Or sometimes when I'm moving it and this is moving around, this will pop off because it's not on there super tight. It could be on there a little bit better. So maybe if I heat it up, this is just rubber. Heat it up a little bit, maybe. Maybe it'll do something. You gotta really force it on there. I think it's on there a little bit better still. I mean, I think, I think it is more tighter. You know, we have just chickens for now, and this just does the job, this water here. But, you know, if we had more bigger animals, I'd probably be using something bigger. All right, that's not going anywhere. Heavy duty bucket handle. The chick lift wheel system, automatic water. Doesn't get that much easier than this for meat chickens. These chicken tractors hold about 25, 30 chickens. The waters and feed are all self-contained. And that just makes everything easier for everybody. They don't have to grab the trough or the water and pull them out. All they have to do is pop up the wheels and then pull it forward. And before you leave your homestead, make sure you move all the animals around. We just moved Elvira and her piggies. Come on. Come on. We're moving pigs. Come on, piggies. Get. And then we're gonna move Zeke into this area. We have trees for shade. That this is exactly why I didn't want the forestry mulcher that we had to clear out all of our trees. We kept a lot of them, and that was really just for shade. Come on, Zeke. I'm not crazy about that water because it is so heavy, but it holds a lot of water. And if you're gonna be gone for a few days, this is great because it's an automatic water. I like to use the pallets to elevate it a little bit so that way they're not throwing sticks and stuff in there and dirt. Just keeps it a little bit more cleaner. Now we move the coop. Now to move our other chickens. Hey chickies. Before you leave the homestead, you have to make sure all your feed buckets are all filled up so that way your farm sitter, the person watching your place, does not have to fill up a bucket. That's the goal. It's the day before we're leaving to Tennessee and we're making sure all the waters are filled. There's our automatic water. That's our automatic, homemade automatic chicken feeder. It's just a PVC pipe drilled in there. And on this same side, I've made this, uh, I probably made this, I don't know, three, four years ago. And I really only use it for when we leave. Fill it up with feed. This should last a good part of the week. Look at Freddy's claws. He's got big old, big old honkers on him. If we can help it, I'd like to put all the animals fairly with a reasonable distance from each other. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but if I can, I'll try to kind of group them, kind of group everybody kind of really close together so that way 
they're not having to go way over there, feed the animals, way over there, feed the egg layers, the pigs, move the meat chickens. You know, they're all kind of just there and just a little bit less steps and a little bit easier to feed and water everybody. And after about a six hour trip, we've made it to our destination. We're vending this weekend. That's why we, we came to this event. And when we, every time we travel, we always bring our own food. Okay, so I put everything away, but a rough sketch of what this weekend will look like. So we've got an oatmeal bake and then mostly egg casseroles for the days that we're just here. But when we're actually at the festival, we have some frozen burritos. This is with organic flour tortillas that I got from the Azure drop. These are breakfast. A, we call them egg McMuffins, but they're not from McDonald's. They are einkorn flour McMuffins. <laughs> this is part of us leaving. Lorraine was preparing all week long. Yeah. And so, these are our pre-made meals. Yeah, basically. these are pre-made. It's gonna be easy because we have to be at the Homestead Festival at 7 a.m. ready to vent. These are really great containers. They're travel containers and uh, they're made out of stainless steel and they're gonna hold our lunches. Hey, there's a TV. Haven't seen one of those forever. Hey, microwave. What? I don't, I don't even know how to use that. Oh, a dishwasher. That too? What? Mm -hmm. We're spoiled this week. And then tomorrow we gotta get up early, go set up our booth, and then we're vending this weekend. So hopefully I can film some of that for you guys. But thank you guys for watching. Takes a lot to leave the homestead. But it's part of what we do. It's part of our business. It definitely is worth going, especially when we meet some of you guys that watch our videos and meeting you guys in person at these events, you know, giving high fives, giving hugs, shaking hands. And that makes it all worth it. So it should be fun this weekend.